should introduce us. <laughs> Hi, Katie and Carol here for Skirt Strategies. We are bringing you your video tip for the month. And this month's tip is... Assertive communication skills, getting it all done without leaving a trail of bloodied bodies behind you. I love this for women because I, I think we have a very difficult tightrope that we walk on being assertive and and being too weak and meek. And you know, how do you how do you create that balance that really helps you get things done, but you don't leave the bloody bodies behind? I don't ever want to leave bloody bodies behind. Well, have do you ever do it intentionally? <laughs> Well, no, <laughs> no. Well, maybe if I want to, sh no, I was going to say, I, you know, as you know, I have a sharp tongue and I can shut somebody up, <laughs> but I don't know that I want to bloody their body. No. <clears throat> well, and, and, and you away. know what? It, sometimes you do it because you just get frustrated. Things aren't happening and you, you're kind of over it. Right. And it's, you're done. So now it's got, it, things have got to happen and they just do. So you leave the trail and. Oh, well, I, I think that our followers are in one of two categories. Like you said, one of them is that they feel like they need to be more assertive. And mm -hmm. so this is what attracted them to this, this topic. They want to be um, effective, yes. but they have a fear of being over the line. They have a fear of being seen as that, you know, the bitchy woman or the one who's in control or the bossy, right? right? The bossy. Right. Or they're women who know that they're outspoken and blunt sometimes. Yes. And they have trouble because they say the opposite side. They say, well, people take me the wrong way. Right. And you do, um, maybe without knowing it, you do leave some bloodied bodies. And I got to tell you, people are very unmotivated when you do that. You really do need to find the fine line between uh, the, being overly assertive and be having your communications be weak now we talk about that mm -hmm. so what are some weak communications and, uh, let me put, put a point okay, about what ahead. you just said if if you're one of those people that says people are always acting like i'm leaving their bo body bloodied i check in on that I, are they being is it you or are they being oversensitive if you see a pattern then yes I Probably was going to say so. you can you can pretty much tell there may be some very sensitive people and honestly you have to treat them different. You really do if you want if you want people to be motivated on a daily basis to come into work and to to do the work that's there then you really do have to take into account their personality and treat them a little bit differently. It's it's just like your kids, you don't treat them all the same because they are different people. You have ones that you love more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm completely kidding because they're probably Katie watching. Does. Katie does. <laughs> so your question about weakness? Yes. So what is a, a weak way of asserting myself? Using conditional statements. Which is? Well, why don't you guys, I know you're not all bought into this and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, that's really weak. Could, oh, would you mind doing or such maybe, and such? Or if you if you get a little time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's the textbook version. It's a little extreme. Mm -hmm. However, if you find yourself conditionalizing some things, like would you all mind if versus can you all go? Why don't you go? You guys go. You know, there's the assertiveness level. Right. And and we being direct, being direct, mm -hmm. being direct, specific, and non-punishing. That's one of the tips in the. Subscribers are getting this um, in the same topical area, right? So our four weeks, our four week delve into this. We do delve into that. Uh, so assertiveness, I think, requires maybe one thing to remember is what does assertiveness require for you? That's perhaps your first question. What does assertiveness require for you? To me, the answer is expressing yourself, standing up for yourself, um, being clear headed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean. You got to know how to communicate. You do. You got to do it in a way sometimes that's simpler is better than more complex. Well, and if you're not leaving a trail of bloody bodies, but you're leaving a trail of people going, what the heck was that and what am I supposed to do now? That's not any better. So you do have to be clear in your communications. Be clear, be clear some in what you're communicating. Some skills that we recommend. Uh, this, sounds, this sounds like it's not assertive, but one assertive is being patient. Listen for a message when others are communicating. Mm -hmm. um, wait before you jump in. Use that time to compose yourself. Mm -hmm. So instead of feeling like I have to be assertive, I have to be assertive, so I'm going to interrupt, I'm going to jump in. <sighs> Take a couple breaths. Wait. Compose yourself. 
then listen to what you're saying as you as you send it back to the other person. Mm -hmm. But listen to them too, because you'll learn you'll learn a whole lot about about how you're coming across if you give somebody else a chance to talk. Then the skill, our next skill of body language. Oh yes. Your posture and your verbal. Mm. Your posture and your verbal. Mm -hmm. Assertive posture, obviously. You're not going to want to do that. Right. Um, and eye contact is assertive. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would be the weak version of that? Looking down. <laughs> so you'll definitely want finding anything. Yeah. <laughs> some sort yeah. of eye contact. And then lastly, I think our last tip for you is to get your head clear so you can articulate your message. We hear this from a lot of women because their lives are so full of franticness. Oh, yes. And having balls in a whole lot of different courts that we can't get clarity in, in what we're doing. Well, and, you know, I'm going to put a plug in here for our membership, and that is it's $8 a month. You get to delve into these topics a little bit more, and you get some set-aside time to focus on clarity. You yeah. Know? I mean, focus on how you're going to present yourself this week. Tiny you trainings, know. big results. That's what we're here for. This is Skirt Strategies. We'll see you again soon. Bye.